in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a mind map in powerpoint as you can see here i have created this uh, brain shape in powerpoint and this is the left side and this is the right side of the brain and i have added five different options starting a b c d and e with different colors i have given and for each option you can see here there are multiple option given and this is connected with the line and you can add some detailed text here and here I have just given the elbow uh, connector type so different different ways you can uh, think of doing this one and here if you can see here this point is indirectly referring to this one so a lot of ways you can add it the text the way you want so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size and make sure to make it fully uh, curved by dragging this small orange point inwards you can see here something like this let me just make uh, somewhat reduce the size shape outline you can make it no outline and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the old shape draw the old shape some random shapes you can select press ctrl d to duplicate and just increase the size you can see here something like this again ctrl d further increase the size and then i'm selecting this press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm adding this one here you can reduce the size if you want and this also i'm going to duplicate and i'm going to add it here so something like this and then i'm going to select all of these or you can press ctrl a to select all these objects then go to format and merge shape remember the merge shape is available only in the latest version of powerpoint in 2007 it is not there and in 2010 you need to enable it so let me just make it a union can you see here it looks something like this and then shape outline i'm going to select this gray color and go to the weight and increase it to six points and shape fill make it no fill so it looks something like this so uh, this is kind of a brain i'm designing but it looks like a cloud but uh, wait for a few minutes or seconds so that i'm just going to uh, make it look like a, a brain shape and then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm just going to select the free form shape draw the zigzag lines can you see here something like this and double click to release it and shape outline i'm going to give the same color and then let me just zoom in right mouse click edit points you can see here the below points i'm going to right mouse click and just say smooth point this also i'm going to make it a smooth point and this also i'm going to make it a smooth point and then you can make it further smooth like this and this one i'm just going to bring this together you can see here this also i'm just going to make it sorry let me again edit points and then you can see here i'm just adjusting this one this also i'm just going to adjust it something like this and this one i'm just going to bring it more closer all right so something like this design you can make it and then i'm just going to select this shape outline and this also i'm going to give some points like this six points and if you want you can just again if there's something wrong you can just adjust it properly also you can see here you can adjust it let me just reduce the size and then i'm going to add few more lines just select this one maybe i'm just going to add one line something like this if you want to hold the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line let me just delete it and show you once again just get one straight line by holding the shift key again the same color and the same weight you can see here and press ctrl d add two more lines like this so once this is done i'm just going to select all these objects press ctrl g to group it and then go to rotate you can just simply rotate flip 90 degrees you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and the, this is the right side of the brain 
and then just add it here just give a little gap and then i can just select this press ctrl g to group it again if you want reduce the size go to view enable the guides and make sure that it is exactly in the center of the slide something like this so the next thing is i'm going to add the options let me just remove the guides then go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one circle hollow just hold the shift key and draw a small circle hollow you can see here shape outline make it no outline this is my one option press ctrl d i'm going to add it one more here and on my right side i want to add three four whatever press ctrl d i want to add one more in the center press ctrl d again one more sorry one more down here then you can add more points to this one press ctrl d for example i want to add it here one again ctrl d one more here and let me just connect this with the lines for that go to insert shapes select the line let me just zoom in so that you know exactly what i'm trying to do um you can connect to any of this point you can see here and then click it here maybe if it is like this also and if you want you can just rotate it something like this so then i can just press ctrl d this line attach to this one and then to this then for each uh, option you can give more sub points also go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the very small oval shape make it maybe 0.15 height and width you can see here shape outline make it no outline and then you can start for example i want to add two points for this so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d i'm going to add like this and for this i want to add three points again ctrl d press ctrl d to duplicate again something like this so you can see here now with the help of the line i'm just going to connect these dots so i'm just going to select this and here again ctrl d one here one will go here again you can spend a little bit of time to connect it properly you can see here again press ctrl d this is for this option i'm going to join with this again ctrl d this is going to join with this so you can see here something like this you can just connect this and if you want to change the the color you can just hold the shift key select one by one without selecting the lines you can see here i'm not selecting the line shape fill whichever color maybe you want this color and shape outline make sure that it's no outline and then i'm going to select the line one by one by holding the shift key and once this is done i can give the same color here so it looks something like this now it's pretty easy for me to do the remaining one so i'm just going to select this or this press ctrl d i want to add one here ctrl d i want to add one here and then i can duplicate this so like this simple way you can connect the the lines you can see here and again how much i want maybe i want 3 here i'm just going to add one at the top and two at the bottom so i'm just duplicating this you can see here i'm just duplicating one by one and for this side also i want to add two points i'm going to add one here and i'm going to add one more here so with the help of the line it's very easy again control d to duplicate add it one by one and if you want to do some small animation also you can try to do with this and once this is done you can add the text for each point so let me just add these two points also control d to duplicate and then just uh, connect it 
and this also i'm connecting like this so you can see here i have added the left side uh, two points and like the same thing you can do for the the right and change the colors and then you can add some text for each one for example this is my option a or my idea a whatever you feel it one two three make it a uh, black color if required century gothic you can make it bold also and then put this is my a idea this is my b control d this is my c and then i'm just going to add one by one for each option now let me just change this one the alphabets to this is b this is uh, c this is for d and this is e and likewise uh, you can just uh, change it uh, and add the same options so let me just add it one more here i'm just going to add here like this you can see here and one more wherever you want down or up it's up to your requirement maybe i'm just going to keep it here and press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add this one here the line you can see here press ctrl d again this one it is going here and if you want uh, not a straight line then you can right mouse click go to the connector types and just say connected elbow so it looks something like this also so you can do like this and then press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to add it towards the the right side for each point maybe i want one here and one more here and here for this i want maybe uh, three options so it's up to you how you want to do that let me just add it and then you can just simply connect the way i connected the lines here so you can continue adding the uh, the lines for the different options and then you can just go to insert text box and add the text here add your text you can see here i'm going to center a line give some different color maybe light color again i'm going to change to century gothic reduce the size maybe to 12 and then just rotate it something like this and put it here for each one and press ctrl d to duplicate again rotate it with the help of this curved arrow you can see here something like this and then press ctrl d you can add it for each option here you can see here maybe if you want you can just add the text for this also first let's complete the main branches you can see here you can add your text if you want you can just reduce the text size and then i'm going to add some detail for each one so you can just see here let me just make it straight i'm just going to say your points so whatever the points you have you can just simply add it here and press and reduce the size to maybe 10 press ctrl d to duplicate and then you can add the points like this so just press ctrl d and add it or change it according to your requirement so this is how you can do this one and i'm expecting that you can just complete the rest of the thing uh, from your side that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye